Hi everyone. It's week two, end of week two, it's Sunday, November twelfth, uh, and this is my update for the whole week. Um, I only had four radiation treatments this week. Um, Monday, uh, the machine broke down, and uh, I couldn't have a couldn't have a treatment that day, so I had four. Um, and as far as the radiation treatments go, I, you know, my throat's getting a little scratchier. Uh, my mouth is really, really dry. Uh, I'm producing almost no saliva, as far as I can tell. Um, and uh, I'm constantly drinking water, uh, just all the time. Um, but, uh, you know, the real bear here has been the chemo. Uh, and I didn't get into that a whole lot last week, uh, but I will now. Um, first, I had a choice uh, to have... And you can look this up, um, a large dose, which is like 100 milligrams per meter squared. I guess it depends on your size. Or a smaller, and that's once every three weeks, or a smaller dose every week, which would have been 40 milligrams per meter squared. Um, and because I was worried about, you know, the, uh, the problems that come with this, uh, you know, the peripheral neuropathy, the nausea, you know, and, and all that, I chose, uh, and, and at the uh, oncologist's, um, suggestion I chose the weekly smaller dose seems to uh, you know uh, people seem to handle it better um, so I chose that so my first dose was last week uh, Thursday November 2nd and uh, that day nothing you know I just sat there they you know put the stuff in you and give you a whole bunch of liquid you know your fluid and uh, you go home uh, the next morning absolutely brutal um, the chemo or the uh, the nausea was just unbearable, and uh, the medicine they gave me for that was utterly useless. Just did nothing. I mean, I might as well have taken nothing. Uh, it really was, it was worthless. And just for your information, that medicine is. I'm gonna screw this up. On Dan Cetron, on Dan Cetron, and. Uh, Prochlorperazine. Uh, those two, if anybody's you know watching this, that's going through this, uh, are useless, utterly and completely useless. Um, so don't even bother with them. Uh, they did end up giving me another medication called uh, lorazepam that works a lot better. Um, it's not perfect, but it works a lot better. Uh, so anyways, um, I didn't have the lorazepam last week, uh, so I just sort of just muscled through it. Um, but, you know, the nausea is one thing, but the really the, the big thing was I had peripheral neuropathy in my hands and feet. And uh, it felt like somebody was sticking nails in there. Uh, I, I can't do that. So, uh, you know, I, I met with the oncology team the next week, which was last week. And uh, I told them, you know, I, I can't do it. I can't. If you want to adjust something, you know, do something. Because if, the, if it happens one more time, I'm done with chemo. I'm not going to risk that for the rest of my life. So uh, they did, to my surprise. They actually uh, changed the dosage down to 30 milligrams per meter squared. Uh, I got that Thursday, and it turned out good. Um, I'm a little bit nauseous. Uh, no peripheral neuropathy. It, uh, it seemed to work out really well. And the lorazepam, I, I don't know whether the, the lower dosage gave me less nausea or the lorazepam helped that much, but it's less. Um, I still don't feel great, but you know what? It's chemo. I, I, I didn't expect to feel, you know, super. So uh, that's, that, that's okay for right now. Um, and I think that's going to be my weekly dosage now is 30, um, cause I, you know, I can't see it going back up to 40. Um, you know, and you know, basically chemo is, it's poison. Um, I don't know if you've ever known anybody with chemo or been in there, but, uh, these nurses, and I don't blame them, you know, they're, they're handling poison again. They double glove, they put on a, uh, you know, a, a coat basically to cover themselves up so they don't get any on themselves. Um, makes you feel good that they're going to put that in your body, but hey, it's, uh, it's there. Um, 
And uh, this week I also applied for and was approved for a New York State medical marijuana card. Still not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I don't know. Um, but I figured I'll get the card. I felt pretty good this week. I don't really see if I need it. Um, I'll do it, but I guess. But uh, I'll have it in my back pocket just in case. Um, but here's the good news. And all this, this bitching I'm doing here, uh, the good news is I met with my radiation oncology team on Friday. I meet with them every Friday. And they showed me a scan of my tumor uh, prior to starting treatment and now. And it is significantly reduced in size. Uh, and I, I also noticed, too, that, you know, I used to be able to stick my tongue way out and see it uh, back there. I can't, I can't see it anymore. It's gone. Um, uh, it's, it's gone, so I can't see it. I, I don't think it's gone, but uh, I just can't see it. So the treatment's working. Uh, it's tearing me up, but it's working. So I, I'll take it. I'll take it. Better than cancer. Um, but that's, uh, that's it for this week. Uh, pretty uneventful, um, better than last week. And, uh, uh you know, I'm, I'm sure this coming week, yeah, it's just going to get a little bit worse and a little bit worse until it's over, but, uh, we'll have to see, and I'll get back with you guys, uh, probably next Sunday. All right.